Ford Hall has become um, an emblem, a kind of manifestation of our aspirations on campus. It really has proven to be more than we had hoped for, in the sense that uh, it's a showpiece for our campus. We have a great deal of traffic that moves down State Street, the, the street just adjacent to the north side, and, and this is the building that they see most directly and clearly. There's a visual pathway or corridor through the building uh, as you look from the east to the west and west to the east that really provide a kind of vista, and one that I hope symbolizes our enterprise educationally. Right? We want our students to have access to new horizons, to stretch themselves, and this building, more so than any other building on campus, provides a kind of a broad internal vista uh, that really suits the educational purposes that go on with it. We have installed a diverse group of departments, for example. We have rhetoric and media studies on the one hand, and then computer science on the other. We have mathematics. We also have our film studies program. We have a music lab housed in the basement. We have a video conferencing room that's seen increasing use. And our board of trustees is accommodated in the boardroom on the first floor of the building. The central concept for us really emerged as one that we, we referred to as hearths. Uh, although there are no fireplaces involved, hearth spaces for us really are common areas where students mingle with faculty members. The students and the faculty do in fact mix beautifully in these common spaces. Uh, the math students in particular on the second floor of the building have taken advantage of all the spaces on which they can write. Uh, that is, they use the glass as uh, calculation spaces and they have uh, their tutoring programs, their tutoring circles uh, underway uh, virtually every day of the week. If you want to learn something, teach it. And in this case, the students are able to learn more deeply and thoroughly than they, they could have previously, largely by teaching each other. It really has achieved uh, exactly what we had hoped for. That is, the building requires people to go to it. And as a consequence, it is now a hub of activity. It's a sort of access point uh, in terms of foot traffic, in terms of business that's done on campus, our educational purposes, and also, frankly, in terms of the visual uh, pathways on campus. Halley Ford has been such a, a wonderful friend to Willamette University and to so many other educational institutions as well. And Ford Hall, I think, is a fitting legacy to her impulse to support the learning process in all of its manifestations. The Ford family as well has been, I think, a, as a group, such friends to Willamette University and we've very much appreciated their support for this building. And frankly, it's a project that could not have unfolded in the way that it did without their support. What we've produced is a building that achieves what, what Aristotle conceived of with his, his notion of the golden mean. That is, uh, it's a balance among these outcomes that is achieved without the necessity of compromise. Mm -hmm.